Good morning, our viewers. We are coming live to you from Chuka University right under the slopes of Mount Kenya, County 013. This is the only prophetic university. My name is James Oinaina. We are honored today to have the Vice Chancellor of this great university, Professor Henry Mutembei. I call him the newest Vice Chancellor. He's barely one year old uh, at work, but he's doing wonders. Thank you very much, Professor, for giving us this moment. We are very glad out of your busy schedule, you are able to give us some time so that we delve into the insights of the 12th graduation ceremony. It will be your first ceremony as the Vice Chancellor and I know you must have been very excited. But before we go into the details of the graduation ceremony, tell us, who is Professor Henry Mutembe? Mm. All I can say, Mutembe is a simple man, born in the village, brought up in the village, and went to the city in 1990 when I joined the University of Nairobi. And uh, I joined the University of Nairobi to study veterinary medicine, but uh, I was able to concentrate, finish as a top student of my class in 1994. <laughs> then the Department of Clinical Studies, Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, decided to retain me as a, in the staff development program and they convinced me to pursue my master's as a clinician in veterinary production and obstetrics, which I did in two years that I got a master's and a DAD program. Then immediately thereafter, the same DAD sponsored me to study in Germany and in three years I got a PhD. Mm -hmm. So I've been a clinician. I've been teaching third, fourth and fifth years in my area. Then I continued interacting with the community, with the donor, donor community in terms of research, publishing. Then thereafter I grew through the veterinary uh, structure. Yeah. Then I was able eventually to become a director in the Mother Institute. I was the second director and the director who oversaw the construction of the Wangalimadai campus. And <coughs> the Wangalimadai campus gave me another perspective of life, that is governance and management. And this basically is something that Professor Wangali we sat together and discussed and tried to say, you can be vet, you can be what? We should have a transdisciplinary uh, campus where everybody, not doctors, vets, architects, come together and they look out at life in a different perspective, especially on sustainability. So this exposed me to another governance and management perspective of the environment, of food security, of livestock system, food systems, and this has been my driving force from 2019. That's how I spring now to the national government. I was able to be in charge of the scholarship program under Kenya Climate Smart Agriculture, yeah. which I'm happy I mentored uh, 172 postgraduates, 96 masters and 76 PhD. In simple terms, Mutembe is a scientist, Mutembe is a don, Mutembe is a villager, and when I'm in the village, yes. I want to be a farmer. Yeah, great. This year's graduation ceremony in Chuka University, you have a very interesting theme, which is supporting national economic transformation agenda through higher education, research and innovation, as well as community development. The graduates of this year, 2023, how well has Chuka University prepared them to take up that task when they go out there in the community? 
first of all, uh, economic transformation begins with a personal transformation. And the basic, what I would say, the basic reason for somebody to go through school up to the university is to transform the mind. And me, I usually tell my students, it is just trying to transform you from an empty mind to an open mind. Mm -hmm. So at Chuka, we have been inculcating values that usually remove boundaries so that this person can be open-minded. You could have done actuarial science, but you can survive in another field. So what I, would, what, what I have seen and what we, we've been talking with the students, I'm very glad for the last one year I have interacted with, with them a lot, the ones who are graduating, and they have emphasized the issue of being open-minded. We don't want to produce rich fools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really graduate, but in the society you are unable to survive. All you can survive, but you can't raise a good family. You also can survive, but socially you are incompetent. So we've been emphasizing on three dimensions of our student. Our graduates who will be socially competent is able to live with the others without causing problems. Intellectually competent, you have come with substance. Mm -hmm. But that substance should be able to transform your life yes. and transform the life of the community where you came from. Mm -hmm. And then you also need to be able to have values. Your character, who will you be known for? So in a nutshell, at Chuka, we've been trying to enable these graduates come out what is expected, values, <coughs> you need to have a family that is grounded on Christian values. Mm -hmm. That is why this university was even prophesied from a Christian perspective. Mm -hmm. So we want them to go out there. And that's why we allow them to thrive in their religious beliefs. Here we don't select which one, but at least all of them communicate to us the character of a person. Great, I'm excited to hear that what you're doing is a holistic kind of uh, development. Now, other universities across the world and in Kenya indeed have been not only searching for, for talent, but also retaining talent that they have themselves trained. From the 2023 class, uh, Professor, do you have a plan where you, you, you retain the cream de la cream? I am excited when you talk about retaining talent. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't retained in the University of Nairobi, yeah. I don't even know where I will be today. Yeah, sure. Because I came from a Asla single mother. <laughs> so, what uh, normally mm -hmm. uh, a university should look at, it is what is the future of the university in terms of talent. Mm -hmm. And usually the best way to tap is get the cream, the best cream yes. of your own student. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing this year, yes. we are borrowing from the same that was done to us in 1990 mm -hmm. when we are retained. Yes. So we are offering scholarships mm -hmm. to the first class and we are trying to also be able to support them. Not only scholarship, but put them under under credible dons who can be able to mentor them and not to really put off their stars. Mm -hmm. We want these candles to be bright and continue and they should be the ones who are replacing us. That is why we shall be having the vice chancellor as a role of honor. Mm -hmm. We shall be able to give that. Mm -hmm. And we shall also be able to give scholarship to the best within faculties mm -hmm. so that they can be able to open themselves and hopefully, they will also now start their career journey, become the dons, and inculcate the same values to the future generations. I am great. I am glad because I am also a beneficiary of the same program. So that makes the two of us. And I can see you are here very <laughs> successful. <laughs> Thank you, bro. So you have been a champion of research, and you have been making a clarion call to dons to take up research that is impacting on the common man that they must connect the output from their research to the needs that, need-based research, to the needs that people at the grassroots have. But then the question that they are always asking, 
where do we get the funds to do research? From your experience, extensive uh, experience, and you have just mentioned the Kenya Climate Smart Agriculture Project, of which I had the great honor of you know, interacting with some of the beneficiaries. Are there funds for donors to conduct need-based research? Uh, uh, funding for research is basically a uh, two-way. If I'm um, the donor and you are the applicant, yeah. the donor must see the benefits you are bringing in, yes. and also I have you have to see the benefit that you want to drive. One of the things is that um, the only difference that you can be able to differentiate a don from another teacher it is uh, in terms of their impact in terms of what kind of research they are doing, their publications, and how these publications are being absorbed mm -hmm. with impact by the consumers. So what I would say is that um, the other day, we had a professional assembly, the first one in Choka, mm -hmm. that I initiated, and they had a lot of turnouts, about 160 mm -hmm. dons from this university. We congregated. It was a free flow of discussion yeah. so that we look at how can we trigger the research portfolio of this university. Mm -hmm. And the dons were able to speak, but the first and foremost for a university to build a research portfolio is that to have a policy that is actually very progressive, mm -hmm. allows the don to attract the funds and utilize the funds for the activities that they have agreed with the donor mm -hmm. and efficiently, effectively, mm -hmm. without delay. Yeah. And to me, money is out there. Mm -hmm. Every day, if you went to the website, you find a lot of cause and cause. Mm -hmm. The only thing that uh, we need to do is to sharpen our concepts. Yeah. The idea where hard science a scientist just talk about hard science discovery without community social impact, that is not fundable in Africa. Yeah. I can tell you. Mm -hmm. That one will be easily funded in areas where even researchers are now inside the cell. Yes. They are talking about the cell. But here in Africa, yeah. whether mitochondria or what will do this, it is yes. not very important. Okay. For us here, yeah. we have issues affecting us. Mm -hmm. Poverty, we have issues affecting us gender violence, we have issues affecting us, climate change, and all that. So, there is uh, a way the donor now will come in. Remember, even the donor, even the government donors, they seek money from the taxpayers with a purpose. Yeah. And this purpose is basically hidden in the call for the concept. Mm -hmm. It is as the scientists who need to tweak our ideas to be able to respond to what is a, what is in the call. And yeah. basically, what is now current is the theory of change. Yeah. If you are interested with a, with a, with a, a project that a donor has called for, then you need to demonstrate mm -hmm. how this good idea of yours in your brain is going to be able to be put in a paper yes. and convince somebody who is reading, even if they have requested for three pages, mm. how is, does it convince me that your idea will be able to permit through people yes. change their life in various attributes of that concept mm -hmm. and it is measurable and it has value for money. Mm. At times, scientists write the concept w with what is there for me. Yeah. Once you write like that, you'll find that you are heavy on cost that the donor is not interested in. Mm. They're interested in, in they, they're money. not interested in your uh, in in making you rich. Yeah. So you are supposed to look at how you your budget is actually speaking to the theory of change. Mm. I put this amount of money, I get this out. Yes. Look at it from when Bill Gates was here, mm -hmm. and they, he actually was talking about the project he has funded. Mm -hmm. I'm sure most of us scientists. We found that one to be very simple. Mm. Very simple concept. Yeah. But here he is looking at, for example, the uh, communities in Daraka, mm -hmm. where malnutrition is manifested. And how simple, simply, how do you enter there mm -hmm. 
not using a lot of sophisticated uh, English. English and uh, <laughs> science, yes. and see how this can be addressed and addressed together with the policies, mm -hmm. so that at the end of the day there are policies to sustain it. Yes. And he was looking at a, a, a village lady, mm -hmm. the garden, uh, garden uh, farming, mm -hmm. integrated in, uh, farming, yes. you get chicken, you get rabbits, you get uh, uh, you get uh, this manure helping to do some uh, in, uh, indigenous veg vegetables mm -hmm. and this lady is able to sort out the boys, the, the children, yeah. they are not monolists mm -hmm. and it can sell the extras Sim outside there. Simple concept. And those, the <laughs> money in, the, uh, ingested there was massive. Mm -hmm. So what I'm asking our dons here is basically to be open-minded. And what we are putting in there because I, f I heard from them, yeah. we, we need now to start training them in terms of lighting further. Yeah. And not theoretical. Mm. We come up with the concept that have been funded. Mm. And I'm, I'm happy yesterday, yes. I had some partners here who are willing to do it for free. Mm -hmm. And they'll Jeez. be doing it this during our summer break. Amazing. So once we do like that, mm. and we get, and basically the way you, you do this kind of things, mm -hmm allow groups to come in yeah. within themes mm -hmm. and the themes must be transdisciplinary mm -hmm. you cannot do hard science without social science yeah, sure. so that they can be able to understand for you why is it that the community is not absorbing what you're telling them you're or this. what will trigger mm -hmm. the community to absorb what you have mm -hmm. and it is going to be a game changer yeah. again we need to be recognizing that mm -hmm. in this graduation i shall be recognizing the scientists Amazing. or a group that has attracted the, the most research fund mm -hmm. and also the ones who have brought equipment and other things to the university mm -hmm. or development. Amazing. And I am excited yes. especially to be here even if the, the, the to, you know once when you start from a, a low takeoff yes. the impact is, is very very high. Very big, yeah. If I was starting the University of Nairobi very where, the, the, where there is a high I don't know I, how I would navigate towards the high level yeah. because once you reach peak the mm. tendency is to go down. To go down. There's but no those who are there. on the low side yeah, yeah, you can easily be seen the plane yeah. taking off and I'm, I'm very optimistic mm -hmm. we are going to take off and take off very steadily. Great. Now Prof, when you talk to young graduates or graduates you will always hear them ask you, we are graduating to go and work where? But then, is Chuka training students to be entrepreneurial, where they do not have to expect to be employed after graduating, such that they do not become job seekers, they become job creators? Is Chuka living up to, to, to that challenge? I think uh, the first thing is the graduates who are, who are graduating to ask themselves and understand the concept of survival for the fittest. Yes. I remember in 1990 mm -hmm. when I was joining the university, obviously I was a student, yeah. but I decided to drink myself from my parents. Completely? Completely, in terms <laughs> of I'm going and I'll be a go-getter. First of all, mm -hmm. many courses that we have have attributes of entrepreneurship mm -hmm. in that if for example you're feeling let's let me take the the simplest yes bachelor of arts mm -hmm. people would say many people are here and they're out there mm -hmm. but there are so many people who have done bachelor of arts and they, are, they have survived mm -hmm. in fact excellently well mm -hmm. and i'm going to pick up my my cousin as an example mm -hmm. when he finished i told him don't go to the village mm -hmm come and sit with me here, mm -hmm. and I will make you survive for three three months, then yes. you will be on your own. Yes. I told him BA is Bachelor of Administration. Mm -hmm. It means you are grounded in a way that you can administer anything. anything yeah. And you can be a manager. Mm -hmm. So I asked him to go around, check where there is space, and he actually today is uh, the the claims manager mm -hmm. of API insurance. Amazing. It uh, means if he did not look at insurance mm -hmm. as a farm. Yes. He looks at what value of management can I bring in Inside. from MBA. Yeah. Another one who decided to go to the village mm -hmm. is rotting there. Mm -hmm. So it uh, means when you finish, yes. there's a comment I saw in the social media from when we, when you said 
people to log in to this uh, TV. Yes. And I saw somebody telling them, please don't go to the village. It is your time now that we are launching you. Mm -hmm. When you launch a locket, the locket will reach where they, they, they will go. <laughs> so we want to launch them with energy. Yes. Go there. Mm -hmm. If you are an animal scientist, surely you can go to the farmers, uh, come in and give your ideas. I will give them one of the tricks that I did, for example, <laughs> uh, as a vet, mm -hmm. when I finished, in fact, during my attachment, mm -hmm. I decided I'll put my authority into the animal treatment. Yes. There are so many quacks out there. Mm -hmm. So I decided every time I treat an animal, yes. I will not only treat, but I will take time to educate a farmer, mm -hmm. and I will take time to ensure there's proper records. Yes. I will take time to even tell them how to be checking the diseases. Mm -hmm. And it started small, but eventually, it kicked out those who are not able to give those that kind works. of services. Because you had something so creative extra. I had something and the farmers were saying it is better that person because I, I took some extra few minutes with them yeah. and they are feeling connected with me as a service provider. Mm -hmm. So colleagues, the graduates, because we'll be colleagues we graduated, yeah. so I would like to have graduates that have open mind. Mm -hmm. You are able to survive in different spheres. And the same even with the, those who of us who are there practicing, yeah. mm -hmm. including the dons. Mm -hmm. Don't always say I was trained only in uh, this journalism. This, this this journalism. <laughs> who tells you journalism cannot have value in another area? It can, definitely. Dissemination. Ah. You can actually come in into any project and you dissemin dissemin disseminating information. the information. Yeah, sure. I think the way we think mm. is that if we are narrow-minded, then you will not really satisfy that clarion call for survival for the fittest. Ah, great. Great. Remember that theory, evolution theory. Yes. There are some birds that went into an island. They were actually veg vegetable. They, they, they were vegetarian. Yes. Some birds started eating the fish mm -hmm. and they survived. The others died. They don't do what who are only looking for the vegetables. vegetables yeah. They but this one like evolved and nowadays they are still allowed. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I think it should be like that. Amazing. Now, the country is moving towards the competency based curriculum. And institutions of higher learning are expected to align their training to these expectations by the government. What is your curriculum? What is the level of update? What level of updating have you done to the Chuka University curriculum to make sure that the graduates that we now escalate to the job market, including teachers who are expected to train in competence-based curriculum, are well equipped so that they are able to fit in these shoes? Basically, the curriculum-based uh, program mm -hmm. at the University of Nairobi, it will be the at the university at the university level, it will be the competent competent based education mm -hmm. basically this is going to be with us in the universities from 2029 mm -hmm. and uh, at the level of um, from basic now going to junior and uh, senior secondary mm -hmm. we expect three pathways there will be the social science pathway there will be the hard science and the sports okay so the question we need to ask ourselves, mm -hmm. how prepared are we for those three pathways? Yeah. So there is some discussions. Some think maybe there should be sport academies mm -hmm. and others think now mm -hmm. some universities should strictly be the technology, the science one. Mm -hmm. Others become the, the socials or the arts. Yes, the arts. In my view, I would uh, prepare this university to be integrative mm -hmm. so that we are able to look at the three pathways and be ready to actually offer services for the three pathways. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I am looking at because if you look at sports, yeah. we actually uh, have sports here. Very, very so I would like uh, to us to build infrastructure mm -hmm. that can be able now to receive those guys so yeah, that exactly. even in the, when the others come out to do sports, mm -hmm. they are doing it professionally, professionally. and for also survival. Yeah. So that we can have guys who can go beyond us and survive, even make money out of the sports. Mm. When you look at the social science, I believe you cannot link the hard science from social science. Mm -hmm. And therefore, 
we also need to, re to review our curriculum to ensure that, yes, we have those, even here now today, if you ask us, yeah. we have what we call STEM. STEM is actually one pathway, Indeed. and then the social science. And basically, mm -hmm. in fact, some common courses mm -hmm. that are cut across between the two. Yeah. So I think that there we have, but uh, we, how prepared are we? Mm -hmm. We have started, especially in Chuka, mm -hmm. to actually trigger that discussion and there are some training that have been done and we want to continue with this training so that eventually by the time they are coming uh, in 2029 all our curriculum will have been aligned to receive them and we shall be ready and we shall be able to offer the three pathways amazing yeah. chuka university has one of the best upcoming science and technology parks I want you to talk to the world about that facility because uh, it is very unique in Kenya and not only in Kenya but also in East Africa. Talk to the world about that facility. How is it going to impact uh, research and innovation, not only in Chuka but the country and East Africa and the region at large? The concept of our research park is very unique and very brilliant and very excellent. Mm -hmm is a three billion uh, project and the concept was first of all to be a shareable platform mm -hmm. that can trigger scientific innovation and technological innovation for transfer in other words we was we expect to have very very modern laboratories there and currently, I can say, even now, we are, we have really, you're rising up to the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. And you can see the equipment that uh, we have. In fact, the other day, people are saying, they came to accredit our, our nursing. Yes. And they said, we need to be a center of excellence. You already have the equipment. <laughs> yes. So, this, the, 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 the thing is, we need partners to actually understand our concept. Mm -hmm. Because our concept is, first of all, to have a platform that can be able to be utilized, especially in Mount Kenya East, mm -hmm. and beyond, so that we are able to have a platform where when a farmer has a problem, for example, uh, in uh, feeds and all that, we can be able to analyze the feeds, give them the results, mm -hmm. and be able to advise them. Again, when youngsters like the ones who are graduating, they have their concept. They can be able to have a, a pinching space. Yeah. You come and explore, explore yourself. Mm -hmm. We give you that freedom yeah. so that you can have your idea and uh, eventually become like a, a, a machine, a, a factory. Mm -hmm. The factory, the idea becomes put in the factory. Then it, if it is something that is nice, you patent it and then you sell it to the world. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be my, buying much boxes from China. Mm, That's exactly. what I'm saying. We can do that. <laughs> yeah. We can even, uh, the other day, Professor was saying, one of them, look at the toothpick. Actually, they look like uh, Kayaba mm, uh, the, the, the to trigger interests. That so you look at the that. consumer, yes. what is it that they want in a, in a cable, mm -hmm. then you come up with a cable yeah. that is going to be actually more acceptable by the consumer. That's still an innovation. Yeah. Innovation is not discovery. Yeah. It is not discovering gravitation force. <laughs> it is something that people can be able to come up with. Mm -hmm. So I would like uh, many universities in the region and the county government and the national to promote our science. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is a turning point. And one of the things that I have seen, and I would like uh, we have a departure. Yeah. We don't have to duplicate the same thing. We don't have to have another three billion somewhere else in them. When we have another project which is here, mm. we all come together and share it. Yeah. That is what we are saying. We would like to see even the companies taking space there yeah. and using them to innovate Incubation, yeah. and they incubate mm -hmm. and launch yeah. you know the launching the marketing point has to be there they launch mm -hmm. and they have their money yes. and the space remains for another generation and it will be used uh, years and years ahead that is the way i look at that concept amazing we are live at chuka university professor i want you to look at that camera and talk to your graduates
talk to your parents, talk to your staff. There are people who have really put so much effort and resources to ensure that we have over the 3,800 graduates who will be conferred with honor on Friday. My graduates, we are graduating 3,844 of you. 21 of you in PhD, uh, 118 of you in Masters, Bachelors, over 2,800. We have certificate, diplomas, and the postgraduate, uh, the, uh, postgraduate uh, degrees. So, my mine is first of all to congratulate you. It is not a mean achievement. It is, you really sacrificed. Like the PhD, I know you really had to spare your sleep and deliver this uh, PhD. But what I would tell you is, a degree remains a paper if you don't apply it. Please, let it not turn color. And the only way your degree will not turn color is for you to package yourself and utilize it physically spiritually and you will be able to survive i can tell you there is no limitation let no one tell you this is just a paper just go out there ask yourself yes i've graduated what next and please make sure you have a character and a value that somebody wants to seek from you. Because if you went now and become a drunkard, sincerely speaking, nobody will be interested with you. Package yourself as somebody who has value for somebody else. And that is how somebody will seek your services. And when you are going to do any service, please let quality, 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 three times be your driver. Because once you give somebody good quality, they will speak of it and you'll get a customer you did not expect. So, as you do everything, please be driven by your quality and character so that this person will be able to be a referee for other services. What I want to tell you, I speak of blessings, I speak and seek that God guides you so that you survive for yourself, for your family, and for the community and the country at large. Amazing, amazing. What is your greatest memory of your undergraduate uh, graduation? You know, you graduated uh, one year, and then one year after that I was born. So <laughs> <laughs> it is quite an achievement. So. Well, 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 mm -hmm. during our graduation it had leaned. Oh, okay. And um, the villagers traveled very early. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there we were. At least ours, we used to be called all the three names. Yes. And uh, when my name was uh, called, mm -hmm. that is when I knew they were around. Because the shouting and the screaming <laughs> was very yes. eminent. Uh -huh. And um, I saw a new lay of hope. Mm -hmm. And so it also became something that I asked myself, what the, do, do these people expect of me? Yeah. They don't expect of me to go and lay in the village there and uh, now be seen there smoking or doing whatever. They expected a, a person who will be able to be like an inspiration to their children. What I also realized is a number of them came with the young, young, young boys so that they can look at me and see they have also hope. And I think I've lived to that uh, determination. I'm still inspiring the generations of my villagers. I'm always proud because I like going to my church mm -hmm. where I started my journey. Mm -hmm. I started my nursery school in that church. That's awesome. I yeah. usually go there <laughs> so that the river can yeah. continue streaming. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it will be pointless for us mm -hmm. to actually not to go to the village mm -hmm. and leave the villagers to have uh, problems. Yeah. So we need to also inspire them. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, the, the, the most uh, memorable part of mm -hmm. my graduation. Amazing. What is your nickname? What do they call you? You have a nickname or...? <laughs> uh, the, 
<laughs> the nickname, it depends on the, the, the where you are and who you are with. In Chogoria boys, they, they had uh, one teacher's name mm -hmm. that uh, I was given as a nickname. Yeah. In Nairobi University, my roommate gave me, gave me another one. <laughs> and uh, in the because my name is Henry Mutembei, mm -hmm. I was basically called HM. HM. Yeah. Uh -huh. And many people thought I'm an headmaster. master. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Professor, for creating time for us. There, you have it. Professor Henry Mutembei. The but Vice I think uh, I also need to speak. Yes, sir to the, the people who have produced the graduates. Ah, great, yeah, you should. Yeah, sure, should. sure. I yeah, thought, uh, quite a lot of work, please. So, uh, my fellow colleagues, mm -hmm. dons of Chuka University, I think it is very important to, to actually congratulate you for delivering this 3,844. Mm -hmm. It takes a cook to deliver a meal. Sure. And therefore, we should always remember who prepared that meal and to me <laughs> yes. the dons yeah. have done fantastic job yeah. we have uh, a don society here and together with their support staff that are very ethical mm -hmm. that are very dedicated and that commit this themselves and therefore i would like first of all to thank them being you know they are like the fathers of these children and i would like them to also continue the journey with them post graduation. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank them. I want to thank all the deans. You've done a great job. You are the main support staff. And also thank everybody who contributed to shaping these future minds all the way from first year. Remember this who are delivered to you, especially for other graduates. Mm -hmm. Four years ago, they were four years young, yeah. they were naive, and you are releasing people who are going to survive. Mm -hmm. So kundos, kundos. Kudos. Thank you very much. There you have it, Professor Henry Mutembei, the Vice Chancellor of Chuka University. He has given us the insights of what to do as young dogs. And he has also welcomed you, the graduates, the parents, and members of the public to the 12th graduation ceremony, which will be happening here at Chuka University Pavilion Grounds on Friday, the 24th of November, the year 2023. And since he gave us some time, Cameraman, I want to give him a trophy. I'll just walk to the trophy area. So yeah, and uh, I think the other thing is yes. to ensure mm -hmm. to know we have also sifted a little bit our graduation mm -hmm. so that it's going to be very short. Yes. We expect the graduates to be seated by 7.45. Mm -hmm. All the dignitaries will be here by 7.45. We shall be able to come and start the event at 8 up to 11.30 mm -hmm. so that at least people can celebrate their own achievement. Yeah, sure. I don't believe in graduations that spill too, too much. Mm -hmm. Then they start eating into other people's celebrations. Yeah, sure. So all speeches and they will be short. And we shall give you a wonderful graduation. Please, you are welcome. Come, enjoy your achievement with us. Come with your villagers. They're just they, they, the way they used to join us. Yeah. Come with them. Hug them. Because they are the same ones who give, who, who have given you the life and they have seen it you through the, the thick and thin of your studies at the university. There you are. See you on Friday. You get a trophy. <laughs> get a trophy. <laughs> that was a wonderful interview. Thank you very much. This is for you. Yeah, it's very good. It, is, it actually looks like the Vatican one. So, it's good. Thank there you, you very have it. Much. It's a wrap. My name yeah. is James Oinaina. Thank you to the whole crew. Thank you to the whole Chuka University fraternity, the Vice Chancellor of Office for your support. See you on Friday at 8, Chuka University Pavilion Grounds. Karibun sana.